everyone, I'm Hannah. I'm Erin. And we're child life students at the College of Charleston. And today we're gonna be making a sensory bag. So sensory bags are a great activity um, that can provide a lot of emotional release for kids. They can give them sensory input when you're um, feeling like they might need more of that. And they're great for kids who um, have difficulty processing sensory information. Um, so we're going to show you kind of the components of the bag and how you put it all together. And this is a great activity because they have an opportunity to kind of make a mess while they're making the bag. Um, and then once you have it all together, you can tape it up and it's pretty mess free and portable. Um, so as a base, you can use really any liquid that you want. We're going to use some water and some oil. And some, paint. and some paint and shaving cream, but you can do any combination of those things. Mm -hmm. um, what do you want to start with, Hannah? We can start with some paint. So we chose um, some light colors of paint so that you're really going to be able to see um, the other things that we choose to put in the bags. But this is a great chance um, for kids to choose what colors they want. Yes. It's helpful to bend over the sides of the bag too, just to make it a little less messy. Okay. Are we going to measure it out? Yeah. You can do like a quarter cup to a half cup of paint. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so even putting it together gives you some good sensory input. Mm. More or just do white? We can do white. Very imprecise. Oh, yeah. And you can kind of spread out the bag at this point and let the child spread the paint around if you want to or just keep adding stuff to it. Okay, um, next we can add a little bit of water. You don't want it to be too thin. A little oil. Another yeah. quarter cup. Or just add it. And we'll just freehand. Freehand it. <laughs> awesome. Okay. And then the fun part is that shaving cream. And you can also use like whipped cream or anything that you have laying around. But shaving cream is fun because it expands. And then there's also some food coloring too that you can always add to make the shaving cream a different color. If you don't want to use paint. Yes. Or you can use all of the above. Mm -hmm. And then for your texture in the bag, you can add things like sand. Um, this is the sand that we have is kind of glittery, uh, but that, that adds color and texture. So we're just gonna kind of work some of that in there. Then we can add some pom poms. And these are perler beads, but you can use really any kind of bead. Um, you can use varying sizes of beads, whatever you choose. We also have some glitter and some sequins for added texture. We're using these um, beads that have letters on them. So those are fun when you're playing with the bag later. So you can try to spot the, the letters that you put in. We have purple and star glitters. So the stars. And you can put any kind of like small object in there that you want. You can do foam letters, you can do magnets, little trinket toys, um, up to you. And then once you have everything in the bag, you're just going to kind of unfold it like that. And then you're going to try to push as much of the air out as you can without having any of the stuff inside come out. And then you're going to close it. And then and for extra protection, when you are actually finished with the bag, you can duct tape on all the sides of the bag to make sure there's no leakage. And then once the bag is fully sealed, you can just kind of start to play around, move everything around, make the colors go together. And 
You feel the sand and everything inside. And there you go. We added a lot of paint, so it's kind of hard to see what's in the bag if you don't smush it right up against the plastic. Um, but you can add less paint or you can do something clear like food dye if you want to make more of like an I spy activity out of it. Um, but having paint in there is a great like texture. Yeah. You can also use white too if you just wanted to be able to see everything that's inside. And that is how you make a sensory bag.